Sick identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. The cause of death has not been determined at this time. Your morning news now. The FBI says a body found in Wyoming yesterday is believed to be Gabby Petito. She is a 22 year old who went missing on a cross country trek with her fiance Brian Laundrie. Authorities are currently searching for Laundrie, who is believed to be somewhere inside the Carlton Reserve, a 24,000 acre wildlife refuge in Sarasota County, Florida. He vanished last week after police named him a person of interest in Petito's disappearance. A military training jet crashed in a neighborhood near Fort Worth, Texas. The two pilots were injured in the incident, which also damaged homes. Authorities say both pilots ejected from the plane. The parachute of one pilot was caught in power lines, causing some residents to lose power. The U.S. is currently flying Haitians back to their country from Texas. The migrants crossed into the border town of Del Rio from Mexico and were camped around a bridge in the town. Three flights, each carrying 145 passengers, arrived in Port-au-Prince. And we are expecting cloudy weather conditions throughout the majority of the day, with thunderstorms becoming more likely as we head into the evening. Some of those storms could turn strong to severe as well. There are claims against the defendant that uh, go to his state of mind in terms of intent or recklessness, and it's my burden to prove that. A ruling from Kenosha County Circuit Court judge marks a win for Kyle Rittenhouse ahead of his November trial. Prosecutors will not be able to argue that Rittenhouse, who shot three people during a protest against police brutality in Kenosha, is linked to the Proud Boy white nationalist group. Kenosha's assistant district attorney argues he should be allowed to argue that Rittenhouse has adopted the Proud Boys philosophy and was looking to perpetuate violence in Kenosha. Winona Health now has monoclonal antibody therapy. That's available for anyone who tests positive for COVID-19. The therapy is also appropriate as a preventative treatment for their household contacts who are at high risk for infection but have not yet tested positive. Those who test positive for COVID-19 at Winona Health will be offered the antibody therapy if they are eligible when contacted with results. The Great Rivers United Way annual fundraising campaign is currently underway, kicking off with a drive through breakfast outside downtown La Crosse's cargo room. The organization has a $2 million goal for this year's campaign, which includes the organization's first ever campaign crew family. We do have a link to donate on our website, news8000.com. Aspiring business owners have a chance to learn lessons from UW Lacrosse with an introduction happening tomorrow. The Wisconsin Small Business Development Center at UWL will offer an eight session entrepreneurial training program starting on Tuesday, September 28th. The program is for anyone looking to start their business or improve sales and profits. Additionally, the course will help existing businesses adapt to the new challenges and opportunities the pandemic presented. The introductory session begins at 5 p.m. tomorrow at Wittich Hall on campus. As a reminder, the Oktoberfest annual medallion hunt begins today. One clue will be issued per day with everything posted on Oktoberfest USA's Facebook, Instagram and website. Ten clues have been prepared and will be shared in order until the medallion is found or all ten are used. The prize for finding the medallion is $500 cash and a souvenir medallion. And behind the cold front, skies looking a lot uh, sunnier with high temperatures much cooler into the upper 60s to low 70s, lows in the morning in the 40s to low 50s. Thanks so much for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Monday and we will look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow. We're going to send you now to CBS Mornings.